So, let's see, yesterday or today marks five solid months, five even months, since I began the carnivore lifestyle. So, I wanted to talk about a little bit how that's been going, what I've been doing. Is it getting old? Is it still, am I cheating? Any of that. Well, the answer to that is... It's not getting old. I can still eat a steak almost every day, and it's still good. I mean, at what point does steak not become good? I haven't, I haven't found it yet. Now, I don't eat steak every single day. I had pork ribs tonight. I get these great big fat ones at the store. I mean, they can be that big around. And put them out on the grill, get a little char on them, but not too much. Just past pink, you know. Used to say, don't, you got to cook pork until it's white. They said, if it's pink, you're going to get sick. Well, they don't say that anymore. It can be a little pink. They just don't want it too pink. Chicken, same way. Now, chicken, if you put on the grill, sometimes it, it'll cook forever, but it'll still look pink, but it's done. Uh, I've just done it so much. You know, even before carnivore, I know when stuff's done. So that's what I had tonight. This morning, <laughs> I said, I wonder if I can eat sausage links. You know, the sausage links, the kind I used to dip in my syrup with my pancakes. And I had somebody behind me when I was digging them out of the refrigerator at the store. So I kind of glanced at the label. I seen they didn't have any carbs, and I said, all right, cool, and I grabbed them. Then I got home and read the ingredients. They had like one gram of sugar, and so I froze them. I, I'm not going to eat those. I'm not going to take the chance that my body doesn't like what I just put in it. So I didn't eat them, even though it's only one gram. It's, a, it's sugar, and to this point, I haven't really put any, I haven't put any sugar that I know of in my body. So we're almost at 70 pounds. Well, I think we are, we have surpassed 70 pounds lost. Uh, yeah. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm rounding this off to 300 pounds when I started because I was only a couple, about two pounds away from that. Uh, and I actually started... When I started the first the first week of May, I, I wasn't eating all carnivore. I was getting rid of what I had and stuff I didn't want to throw out, and I was easing into it. And then I've seen some videos, said that's the best way to do it. Gives your body less of a shock. But I didn't experience any of that, you know, any, any problems with my body. What I had yesterday, I don't probably... Just a lot of things been going on. Just because you're on carnivore doesn't mean you're never, never going to not feel good. There are times you're just, you, you know, you got other issues going on. And it could be your body transitioning and it's not pleasant. And this morning I woke up back to normal. So you can't let little things like that scare you off, you know. Yeah, if I was to go get a gallon of ice cream and devour that right now, I'm sure I'd feel pretty bad afterwards. <laughs> Although it would be fun eating it. <clears throat> Don't really miss those things because I've kind of trained my mind about eating. That eating, I'm not, I'm not looking at eating as a pleasure anymore. I'm looking at it more like a necessity. And... Most of the time, man, I, I, my breakfast, I'm not eating as many breakfasts, breakfasts, as, I'm not eating breakfast as often. I did eat some this morning, uh, but I, you know, I had a lot going on last week and I skipped breakfast almost every day and I got all these eggs in there. I got to eat up and bacon because bacon will go bad fairly quick if it's not frozen. Uh, so I've, I've got some eating breakfast eating to do. So I may have a few meals in the evening that are eggs and bacon. You can do that. I've done that before this. Uh, 
yeah you you get a i don't really i can't say i get a taste for certain things i just like i said i've trained my mind to think the benefits of what i'm doing are far outweigh the short pleasures if i was to cheat far outweigh that I just had to change shirts because I realized I forgot to do a podcast today and I'd wore that shirt in the video and it was, I'd wore it for two days. Uh, cause what I do is I, I got a different set of clothes I wear in the house, you know, and I'll wear a shirt for a couple hours. I'm not going to throw that in a dirty clothes hamper. It's still good. So I might wear it a couple of days. Jeans. I might wear, you know, jeans. I'm just started wearing them again. I just put those on to go to town, to go to the store. I might wear them two weeks because they're only going to be on my body for an hour and a half at a time or an hour at a time. No sense in doing a whole load of laundry. And, but now I've realized I, I'm going to have to break down pretty soon and buy some new shirts because all these shirts, this one probably isn't, but all the shirts I own, and I like Carhartt, Carhartt shirts, they're all 3X. And they swim on me. Since I lost my big gut, them shirts come halfway down to my knees, man. And there you go to move. There's just a lot of extra material there. So I'm going to probably next week order a bunch of shirts. And I don't want to order a whole lot at a time because I'm still losing. But I think I can just order some larges or 1Xs and be good. And because, I mean, the, those shirts don't shrink very much. And I got some that just absolutely swim on me. It's amazing how when you lose your belly, you know, how much that pushes that shirt out. And so now, like this shirt, this shirt was a no-no when I was making videos before because you go to turn around, you got your butt crack showing. Then you got to blur out your butt crack in the video. And that ain't fun. That takes a lot of work to do in editing. It's not hard, but it depends how long you've had butt crack in your video. And it could take a while if it's in a bunch of clips. So I saved all these shirts because um, it's hard to throw out. A, you know, Sometimes you get these cheaper ones and they shrink. But you don't want to throw them out because they're still pretty new. Well, now they're coming in handy. And I've got like a laundry basket out in the patio. There's another one back in the corner. I got to have some better shirts in there. So I've digged them out, do a load of laundry. Uh, try to do it when Lily's out. So she, the washing machine and dryer terrify her. <laughs> so I try to do it when she's outside. Now the weather's good. I need to get caught up on this laundry because uh, it's taking up space. So today I took Rooster and Lily, if you've seen the other channel, brought them out on the screen patio together and they got along fine. You know, they were more interested in sniffing around and seeing what was in that room because neither one of them spent a lot of time in there. And there's a lot of new gym equipment in there that they haven't seen. So they were wondering what it was and, you know, but it went pretty good. But then it just hit me a little bit ago. I am hoping, and I, and I highly doubt this, that whatever Waldo had is not contagious. Lily is fine, you know, and I don't think it is. He's just older. But if it was, you know, I got to really watch there. So I'm going to watch him for the next couple days. Uh, dogs are so lazy. It's hard to tell sometimes when they don't feel good. But I don't think he had anything contagious, and she would have had it by now if he did. So that would be a nightmare to get them all sick, and I don't want to do that. So, But the carnivore is going well, and I hope the people that are doing this with me are doing well. You know, it, it, it's just a, it's pretty much a year long, depending on how much weight you're losing, like I'm I'm shooting for a hundred pounds. I'm getting pretty close. It's almost a year process and you just got to train your mind that food is not a pleasure. We, we have, I've said this many times, we have turned food 
into more than what it actually is. Every meal does not have to be a gourmet meal. Every meal does not have to have the best taste in the world or cooked by a chef. We've glamorized cooking and, and eating so much that when you go to do something, and but I'm not eating things that are bad, that taste bad, you know. My ribs, hamburgers, all, all good things. I'm just cutting out some of the side dishes that had the carbs, and that's it, and the vegetables. And I was, I'm cooking the dog's uh, dinners now, and so I'm sitting there chopping up. I almost caught, I caught myself, I was cutting up carrots, and I almost caught myself grabbing one and popping it in my mouth, and then I, I realized, you can't eat that no more. And then the cooking the green beans, and then I cooked them some turkey, ground turkey, chicken livers, chicken, ground meat. These dogs are eating good, let me tell you. But they're going to lose weight because there's nothing in there that's going to make them gain weight. And they love it. They are devouring every bit of it. They love it. All right, well, I guess I almost forgot to do this tonight, so I better get it up there so I can relax for the evening. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, it's Dogtober. I did add a mail-in address for the rescue. If you'd like to mail a check, rather than if you're going to make a donation, rather than PayPal, Venmo, or any of them, I did put an address in the description that a check can be mailed to, uh, and they would appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.